Good evening, everybody, and welcome to a special edition tonight of Mr. Fred and Friends. Um, I just clicked my buddy Rick Rico off, so I'm hoping he will come back up here in a few minutes. Uh, I got to tell you, hey, Ryan Courtney, Ian, Ian Jacobs, I hope I pronounce that. When I see New York, they're going to have to tell me exactly how to pronounce that. I got to tell you, buddy. Um, anyhow, tonight we're going to have the drawing for the Florida 10 man. And... Um, I'm just hoping, ah, here we go. Yeah, we had a glitch at the beginning. I was sitting here talking to Rico in the green room, and obviously, you know, um, I have no control over this finger sometime, and it just pushed something, and I don't, everything went south. But, uh, hey, what's going on, James? James Stevens watching us. So tonight, you know, we're going to have the drawing for the um, the Tin Man and down in Florida, Gator Paintball. And I got to tell you, I'm so excited to do this. Um, I, I've had my ticket for a while, you know, and we're we're just so excited to go down and do it. And uh, Rico's got a heck of a field. And uh, it's just something I'm looking forward to. There's going to be a lot of good teams down there. So this is going to be a lot of fun. So I'm going to pull up the guy right now. The guy with the plan, the guy that is going to pick to see who plays against each other in which bracket. So please, everybody welcome Mr. Rick, Rico Fernandez, please. What's going on, Rico? What's going on, Fred? What's up, buddy? Uh, How are you lucky. guys doing out there, WCPL? Oh, uh, doing good. I got to tell you, I'd rather be lucky than good, boy. After I, I pushed us off, I didn't know what was going on. I'm glad I got <laughs> us back on. So, um, hey, we got Justin Tuggle watching us tonight, too. How you doing, Justin? Uh, so, anyhow. Um, hey, Fred, Rico, by the way. Um, yes, sir. You, Fred, you're coming in and out. You're coming in and out. Uh, uh, we're, we're have, you seem to have a little connection issues over there, just so you know. How is it now? So Pretty good? Let people know if we lose you. It's good. Uh, just let people know if we lose you, if we, if we drop, we'll get back on right away and continue the raffle. Sounds good. Um, can you hear me now okay? I can hear you good. Okay. All right. So uh, we got Tyler Car Carter watching. Um, you know, you got 29, 30 people watching right now. So I think people are going to be a little bit interested to see who plays who here, pal. So why don't you explain a little bit how you're going to do this? Can you hear me, Rick? I agree. Oh, yeah. They will be interesting. You are definitely 100% uh, correct. But I am having you. I'm, uh, I'm seeing you coming in and out again. So just so you know. Okay, no problem. Well, go ahead. Why don't you explain to everybody how you're going to do this? Yeah. So let me do this real quick. Uh, let me just set this up here. I'm doing a backup on this end. So. Just in case we lose Fred, um, because the signal is, seems to we're having some connection issues today, um, we'll be able to follow also on, a, on another yeah. deal here. I can hear you okay. perfect on this end. So, 
Okay, excellent. So, um, yeah, so what we're going to do today is we do uh, a, a raffle. I've been doing this. I learned this from uh, our beloved friend, Tim and Tresser, uh, that we uh, lost um, and who became really the reason why, well, not that he started the movement, but he took the movement and refined it, right? We know that. The movement was active. It's just it was uh, subliminal, and then he just kind of blew it up. So, um, for you know, he the way he did this raffle, he he uses a trophy, and then he puts a team's name, and then the teams actually get the uh, randomly get selected, and then the divisions are created. So we're gonna do the same uh, in uh, process. It's no different. Uh, the only thing we're gonna start with is we're gonna do. The sister teams, the way I'm going to handle the sister teams um, is pretty simple. I started thinking about it, and the more I think about it, there's the real only way to do it is you simply throw them in there. If one of the sister team's name comes up, they're in that bracket. Obviously, the other bracket is where the other sister team is going to go. So if, let's say we pull all Americans, and later on, all Americans 2 comes up, well, it doesn't really matter. They're going to still be in the opposite bracket. Does that make sense, Fred? He absolutely does. And, and that's a fair way of doing it, too, because, you know, a lot of teams are putting yeah. two teams in. That's correct. We have three teams actually doing it. Master Blasters, Annihilators, and All-Americans. Um, you have the Master Blasters, Master Blaster Black, Annihilators, Annihilators, 10-man, all Americans and All Americans too. So I'm going to fold these uh, and I'm going to throw them. They're down here, and I'm going to, you know, try to see if I can show with my iPad. Uh, all the team names are here. Uh, well, why don't you just mention each? Is there? Why don't you just and mention each one of them? What we're going to do? Yeah, we're going to throw them inside of this container, and this container is clear. Nothing in. No magic. I can I can come out with a bird. Should I show a bird? No. All right. I won't do the bird. That would be unprofessional. But but anyway, I'm gonna fold these and we're gonna talk a little bit about these teams. Well, how do you think? What you ready for this, Fred? I'm okay. ready, but yeah, tell tell me each one, name each one as you fold them and put them in. Yes. So we're gonna talk in order that they are alphabetical order the first team we're going to talk about is the 12 angry men 12 angry men this is their second um florida 10-man classic event this team is uh i know the personally the team a lot of great guys chris wolf uh you got guys that really are passionate about the game they're really trying to play it um and uh compete as much as they can so we're gonna cool put the 12 too. angry men that's a pretty yeah. cool name, Rico. Um, they play at my field a lot. Yeah, they play at my field a lot. Um, they're considered a home team. And, um, you know, they're going to be here giving it their best. Uh, they're kind of newer uh, players developing. They have some seasoned players that, that are very strong. Um, so we'll see where they land. This will be a great event for them because – uh this is going to fit in their caliber is going to let them compete you know and be uh, uh a new team that can evolve and, and god knows what will come out of that but the 12 angry men is a great team i'm put their name right in here the next team is a team that you're familiar maybe you can talk a little bit about it but it's the famous all americans uh fred you're familiar with that team a little bit right yeah it, um you know they've been around for a lot of years yes and, uh, you know, obviously they, they come from up north from where you're at and uh, they always play hard. You know, that's, uh, you know, that's why I always like to go to this type of tournament. So even when I started years ago playing professional, it just I always wanted to play the good teams. I wanted to get out there and really have a challenge. And the All-Americans, whoever they play, they'll give you a challenge. They will. They took second last year. They came to this event. Um, they, they are, uh, they've been at this event, this is their third year, third year, so third event in a row. They have not missed one special organ, you know, it's the 
the, the uh, paintball precedent, we call it, as Will Arroyo mentions him. And uh, Spech is a, a, definitely a contribution to the sport. He, uh, he really cares about the game. Um, he doesn't like the politics. He's really a cool guy. And uh, I have nothing but love and respect for mad respect for Spech and uh, his team. The guys that are on that team, Hans, you know, you go right down. I think Hans is coming down, but I think Hans is working. Um, uh, uh, what do you call the smart parts or not anymore? Smart part. The, what do they call that? Uh, the, uh, the new gun that. Uh, shocker. That they shoot the all America. The shocker. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's no um, problem. Yeah, it's a heck of, heck of a marker. Hans is coming. Yeah, Hans is coming down to deal with that gun and to serve his gun. So those that have the shocker, they'll have cover. They'll be covered down here. Um, Got it. The uh, So it's a great team. Nevertheless, now let's talk about the All-Americans, too, which is the next team. That team, you know, some of those guys, Fred, they came into your event. They are in. Your event. Yeah, they actually took third in the event out here. And uh, I got to tell you, what an absolutely great bunch of guys. I mean, they, they were all, Rico, you're going to love them. They're very professional. Um, attitudes were terrific. Um, very, very good paintball players, too. Um, I, I'm going to be happy to see them guys again. I was very happy that they came out and they played the WCPL out here. But I was even happier after I got to talk to them. What a terrific bunch of guys, Rico. Yes, they have guys like Ma Martin Heffron. They have uh, Henry Levy, uh, Robert Lynch, and Nico um, Marchion. They have uh, Christopher Matera and famous Joe Munoz. Who doesn't know Joe Munoz? I mean, <laughs> the great yeah. guy and Ryan. These are the main guys on this team, you know, the squad. And then Hayden. And, and uh, you have uh, the, the Sawyer. The, you got Sawyer. You got Snyder. Another leader in this team, Eric Town, um, Adrian Villar. And like you said, it's a solid team and it's been around for years. Um, and I'm going to capture this moment and just give you guys a quick uh, reminder. Uh, everybody has to do their rosters by the 27th. So when you get uh, – Get into the PB leagues, pull your roster, put it in there. We're going to use that for the live feed from Comp Sports. We're going to have multicam on both Hyperball and Mounsfield. Um, Sunday, Saturday, we're going to be in Hyperball half a day. So there'll be a cam multiple uh, cameras there filming. And it will be also uh, shared through the WCPL Facebook page. And then on Sunday, it's going to be all mounts, semis and finals as well. So please uh, also be, keep in mind, we're going to give you a, a, a signing sheet, a little packet, and you're going to put each player's number for their jersey so we can um, talk about those players as they make their moves and recognize them. Uh, I have Matt Richards uh, going to be the doing the commentary um, uh, with me. And uh, Matt is ex-pro player, played on Team Strange. Everybody knows Matt Richards that uh, has been around the sport. His dad was a uh, damaged coach and he passed away, but another great, fantastic contribution of the sport. So Matt is going to be here doing the So that waivers, please do your waivers in advance. We're going to verify them before we start the event. I'll have somebody sitting in front of a computer looking at your roster, and if their name is on the waiver, they're going to be stopped at the gate by the chrono judge, and they're going to identify them and tell them they got to come back and do the waiver. If you miss the game, you miss the game. So don't don't fool around with that, please. Um, and we'll keep going. Next team is going to be well, – Real real quick, Ryan Courtney says, what part um, of Florida is this taking part, place in? You know, And it's just north of Tampa is where it is, Ryan. Correct. It's just north of Tampa. It's called Hudson, Florida. Uh, this next team is uh, very old, popular Annihilators with Chris Oliver in the leadership. Uh, what do you know about the Annihilators, Fred? I can talk a little bit about them. Uh, let me tell you something. Yeah, Florida Annihilators. You know, back in the day, um, I played against these guys an awful lot back in the day. And I'm, I'm sure they've got a lot of new guys on it right now. But I got to tell you, 
when I played the Annihilators back in the day, they were not only very tough, they were also a great, great bunch of guys. You know, we would get on the field against each other and it was head to head, but off the field, it was handshakes, joking around, laughing, terrific bunch of guys. Don't take them lightly. Yes. Um, they have the leadership is Chris Oliver, who's a great friend. Um, he's a great supporter of the sport. I mean, and Chris is, loves the scheme and he supports everybody. Uh, non a political figure as well, which I love. You know, it's all about the fun. It's not about you know who, where you play, and whatnot. We we don't promote, we don't discourage people from playing leagues. We just want you to play the sport, right? So, uh, in this league and this team, we have Kyle Berry, pro player himself, um, great guy. He does my uh, social media marketing. If you ever need a great company, um, he he does that for a living. Very reasonable. Antonio Brazili, who I know personally, is a good friend of mine. Um, he's worked in the in this field and uh, played here for many, many years. They got David and Whistle. Who doesn't know David? Uh, Cocker Beast. He, he'll take the Cocker and take uh, – he took my Cocker and made it sing. When You, you, you need to see my Cocker, Fred. But uh, they got Stephen Ferguson, John Harris, Chris Hudson, who you know who he is. He's all over the map. Yeah. He's got uh, – very popular and a lot of people know him well. Um, Eric Lopez, Duncan McNeely, so is another guy that I know. He's a very nice guy, very chill. Uh, one of my uh, friends that I know, his name is Adam Philpott. Uh, uh, I've known him since he's 14. He played in one, in, uh, one of my teams with my friends, Kenny Clamper and all these guys, you know. Uh, Kent Roth and Gary Stewart is, Seward is what I see roster right now for this team. So we'll go on to the next team. Sorry, guys, we're not trying to take long. We're just trying to give you guys recognition as team uh, as we go. So the next team is the Annihilators 10 Man, which is the sister team of Annihilators. Um, that's how they renamed this team. They got Derek Black, uh, Blackwell, again, Chris Oliver organizing this team. It's more of a put together, Fred. Do you have anything on this, guys, before I go uh, through the roster? I don't. Just looking forward to meeting everybody that's going to be down there. You know, um, a lot of these uh, are younger players that yeah. I haven't met. Uh, so I'm definitely, you know, everywhere I go, that's a, a real big thing for me. Uh, today I was at a, a tournament that was actually held in a park, Rico, uh, a city park. They had baseball game going on right next to it, the softball game going on right next to it. And here was paintball set up. It was just absolutely cool. And it was all the young guns. Now, you know, most of them were the future of our sport. Yeah, it was terrific. Yeah, I'll talk more about it on Tuesday yeah. night when, when I have the yeah. show. Yeah, excellent. By the way, those that are watching me on this, my iPad, there's another show going on right now. I got two guys, and I'm going to shut this down. Our connection is strong. We were having some issues. But over there, you'll see the video better. Tune in into Mr. Fred's shows right here on the WCPL. Just scroll up and look for the other live feed that's going on right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this one so you can join us there. That way you can see everything a little bit better. I'm okay? Flagpole this, Productions. Just a very close look. Flagpool Productions as well. But if you go to WCPL, where yeah. you're at right now, just click on the other live feed. Okay, so um, I just finished that feed. Um, yeah, these guys are uh, Cristo da, uh, da Covanos. I've heard of this guy, solid player. Jonathan Ferdell has been around. Logan Gary, D Dylan George. He was one of my ref last year. I, lo uh, I lost him to playing this year, but what a guy what a commitment to loves the sport and he, he he would have been refing it if i needed him no doubt cody howard is um he's been around joe morales uh mahanim robles uh walter seidel uh william stewart stephen walsh heard of many of these guys uh they're locals so i'm familiar with a lot of them a lot of their faces even though i may not know them personally now, the next team, Fred, you know a little bit about it. They, I don't have a roster for them. It's the Destiny Wrecking Crew. But uh, they're, uh, the local team here in Florida is not the one in California. Right. So, But I think it's the majority of them uh, are from the same guys that went to California. Anything on that team that you can um, chime in? Yeah, just, you know, all I can say about that, you know, a lot of them that came out here, I, everybody that was at the WCPL tournament out here, they just all played great and uh, the attitudes were great. It, it just really was, you know, and to me, that's a big thing in paintball, you know, is, is the attitude. You can be the best player in the world, 
But if you step off the field and, and you're acting like a jerk, you don't help uh, paintball whatsoever. So I'd have to say those are some great guys. I'm looking forward to seeing them again down there. Yes. Uh, another local team, Existential, existential Fury. <clears throat> Um, they're out of uh, Orlando, uh, Central Florida. This was a team that started as a, <clears throat> uh, they were looking, uh, the guy, the uh, guy that put it together was looking for a, uh, to, you know, jump on a team. Um, and they ended up getting together with a bunch of friends and they're mixing in with <clears throat> another, uh, group of guys from up North, I think. But the guys on this roster are Dylan Arroyo. Austin Bandari, uh, one of the leaders, uh, Lindsey Brown, Neil Harper, John, uh, Joshua Jacobson, and then Jared Jacobson. So they must be brothers. We got Kyle Kostnick, um, Justin Michael, William Perry, Tim Phillips, Gio Rodriguez, Clay Swingle, um, and Tiger Wolf. So solid uh, bunch of guys. It's, um, <clears throat> it's a put, kind, of, kind of combined team, but we seen last year uh, one of those teams that came in like that and took uh, fourth place at this event. So nobody can be, you know, uh, uh, undermine these guys. You never know what you get out of a put together team. And I've won plenty of, uh, I won World Cup one time with a D3 team that was a put together that was handed to me. And I took him into the uh, World Cup and we won Division Three uh, that year, Division 2008, I think. <clears throat> so you can never count out a, a put together team. Yep, uh, that's right. Solid. So next yeah, I went through the same thing. Go ahead. The, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just I was just gonna say I, I went through the same thing with the Muffs. The Muffs was a, a special team that we had back in the day, just made up of just a bunch of us guys. And we went over to Mayhem in England and uh, we almost won the darn thing. We ended up taking third though. And uh, we were playing against the best and the best over there. So yeah, never ever take any team lately hear me yeah you were slow you were breaking up a little bit uh, was that really i wonder in. why that's interesting yeah. yep uh, go ahead though rick you got to pay the wi-fi bill hey i got the best out here and it works yeah. great too i don't know what's going on tonight go ahead no worries no worries, no worries. uh the next team is uh extreme rage uh Todd Adamson, um, at the last, I think he took, he took the last spot and, uh, he's putting together a, quite a squad. Um, there's, he's got, a a bunch of guys that I know, uh, and then his wife, Tommy, which Tommy is playing phenomenal. And I think she's part of that league. Now she has a team and on the, uh, professional uh, girl circuit, the ladies circuit, um, WNXL. Yeah. Yeah. There's a couple no, of them. No, I uh, think Tommy, Tommy, the is, diamonds. Uh, Tommy's a different, no, uh, Tommy is, um, forgive us, Tommy, but we are all senior citizens and we have memory issues. Um, but, uh, they're in the pro bracket. I'm going to be rooting them for them because they're my Florida team. Good. And, uh, although I love the Valkyries too. Uh, love the Valkyries, but uh, Extreme Rage, yeah, I don't have a roster here in front of me, but I love watching Tammy play. She's aggressive, moves forward. Todd is getting fat and old, and he's getting boring to watch. He just rolls around <laughs> the back line, and Poopy just doesn't do anything other than yell at people for not moving. Yeah, my kind of guy, my kind of no, guy. Anyway, I love Poopy and Todd. He's the man. He's the man. Yeah, he's he's the man. Um, the next team uh, is Gridlock. No, they didn't make the, the cut. No, we got Ground Zero Gold, which is a popular team uh, led by uh, the Will Arroyo. Uh, this is Will's team and, and Chris Cole, who I uh, call every week and harass for fun. He's a big guy and, a, you know, but he can't catch me anymore. And even though I'm crippled, uh, but this is a great team, uh, powerhouse. They, uh, played this event three times in a row, three years, and they are going to come here and show their ways again. And I think they have the capability as being a top four team with no doubt. And, um, uh, they're just, 
a fantastic group of guys and, and um, Chris has his son playing uh, as well. So um, in their roster, I don't know. Let's see if I got a roster. Yeah, I got Alex Breen, uh, Breen and Don, uh, Donald Cole, which is uh, Chris Cole's son. Uh, and Chris Cole is now Donald Cole. I didn't know that. And he's a beginner, right, ex-pro player. Christian Collins, uh, William Ferner, Christian Collins. Who doesn't know Christian since he's coming up the ranks? Uh, let me make sure this is the right team. We've got Riley uh, G, Eugene, uh, Guzal. Uh, they also have Shan, Sean Henderson. Um, they got Robert Lesnar. Rob Lesnar, what a great guy. Mike Moore, uh, excellent guy. Royce Phillips, Will Regis, solid, solid. May miss Will Arroyo. I think he's not going to be able to make this one. Some unfortunate things for him are going on, and, and uh, he's having difficulties traveling. So, you know, personal life stuff. But uh, great team. I expect these guys to be a solid showing. Uh, the next team is um, an old team. You can talk to me about lockout. Lockout. Can you tell me what do you got from lockout? You know these guys. They've just been around for a long time. You know, um, like I say, you know, what's, yeah. what's really cool, you know, just like I was today, I was with a lot of the Ironmen too, you know, and back in the day when we played against each other and, and actually we played alongside each other quite a bit too, they've all got their kids out there. Now the kids are all growing up and playing too. So, you know, a lot of these teams that you're talking about right now have evolved over the years, but their name is still very phenomenal in the sport. So. It's pretty cool. Lockout's going to be a, a good team. Yeah. Yeah, and they're, 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 this team is not exactly the brothers in the old lockout. Uh, remember, Boogie played on lockout. Um, but it's a solid team that has been coached and manicured by these original lockout members, uh, the majority of them. You know, they got uh, Justice uh, Freville, uh, Jacob Grasnick, uh, Jesse Cox. Coach, 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 I don't know how to say that. Yeah, Nathan Adele, Derek Phelps. Name. Yeah, yeah. Derek Phelps, Parker Phillips, Matthew Petrosky, one of the leaders, Brent Piso, great guy, loves the sport, great supporter of the game. Sebastian um, Rafalski, uh, Le Levi Strope, and Jonathan Williams. So I expect these guys to uh, show and show people who they are, and I'm looking forward to watching them. I love their jerseys. Their OG jerseys design is fantastic. This next team, you may know a little bit about them. It's called Master Blasters. Tell me some <laughs> about them. I got to tell you, what a terrific bunch of guys. Um, as a matter of fact, they even came out uh, to California and played the WCPL out here, too. And, um, you know, Kevin Donaldson, uh, you know, he, it's his team. And I got to tell you, Kevin and I go back like 35 years. Great, great, great person and a great team. Everybody on that team, um, I, I know most of them. And I got to tell you, they're top notch off the field and top notch on the field. Never take these guys lightly they i mean they actually came out here and won the tournament they are uh they are forced to be reckoned with yep. believe me they're, they're defending their their uh title because they won the first one so they're coming yep. here with with uh intent and they're ready to fight their spot and not to mention that they won last year's event here at this field uh and they legitimately fought it out it came down to all Americans and them, and it was a, it was an amazing game. And Misfits, sorry, we don't see them this year, um, but they were on the finals too. But um, this year we have great prices too, so the better price packages than last year because I'm recovered and financially uh, in a better situation, and I just like to give back. So next team is also I don't have a roster for them. They're going to roster their team for me. Uh, the next team is Master Blasters Black, um, which is uh, a second string. Uh, the Master Blasters have a large roster, for those that do not know. Yes, they do. I think they run 20-plus deep, 30 deep. Uh, more than that, yeah. So they have a, more than that, right? Yep. 
Yeah, so uh, they have a second team, and they're going to be playing this event. I don't have a roster for them yet, uh, but I know what Kevin is putting together on that team is going to be top-line players that he's setting up. And he's one of those guys that uses his guys. Only if he doesn't have enough guys, he would reach out of his. But uh, I expect nothing but them to be on the top four. They're they're very solid players. They're, they're coming from three wins. Next team is going to be MVPS Dark Ops. Have you heard of these uh, this team yet? Uh, that I haven't. Nope, that I haven't. But okay. uh, you know, I'm looking forward to watching them play and, and maybe even playing against them and meeting them. So. Yes. So I know these guys. Um, the owners of these te- of this team is a combination. Of, obviously, is a partnership between Alex Sedell and uh, Aaron Vega, who I personally uh, have a great relationship with. Aaron, we talked regularly. We help each other as field owners. We're down the road from each other, but we believe in working with each other. Not there's nothing to compete. I, I'm not a McDonald's in front of a Burger King, right? I'm a, an hour away from him. That's not there competition. You you, we're we're on competition, right? So uh, you we work together and, and, and share information. And he's got a squad. Uh, he's got Patrick Flood, Luke Hart back. Luke I've known for many years. Um, he's one of those that won, I think, a par, one of the Mustangs back in the days when they gave the three that. Mustangs away. Yeah. Uh, he played also on another team that um, I was involved with. In fact, the team that I won World Cup B3, I was that. That's the team. Um, we got Zachary Morris, has been around for years, John Polk, Mike Wallace, and then the very, very Aaron Vega playing, who is a beast, and Alex Adell, who is a beast himself. He owns the MVPS, and they do a fantastic job in Florida. The next team uh is going to be in the raffle is um ps pps f l s f o dirty um, wow they're from texas from wow. texas um don't know anything about them but when the team is traveling from across the nation they come with the intention of winning so i'm yeah. going to watch this team see how they perform they got a lot of guys that are ugly looking bad boys i can tell you they look like they're going to grind it out with the best of the best oh there's some good teams come out of texas yeah (laughs) there's some great teams that come out of texas we got ryan in there (laughs) yeah solid solid they got ryan armstrong uh oh brock bahanan very key uh and part of this team Corbin Bahan and Stephen Fair. I think he's uh, one of the captains or the captain. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, Richard, uh, Richard, uh, Trey Florence, Robert Hall, Corey Hunt, Hunter, uh, Travis Miller, Josh Price, and last but not least, uh, Sacris Silva, <clears throat> who's also in the leadership, maybe the captain. I'm not familiar with who's the captain, but I think it's one or the other, Bahan or, or uh, Silva. I think it's Silva. But it could be Bahan. Who knows? I could be wrong. So that team is in power, and they're coming in. And I know that that's going to be a good team to watch. And that's their name going in the uh, in the bucket. We're getting down to a few more teams. The next team um, is going to be uh, Prime Suspects. What do you know about Prime Suspects? Ah, your Jimmy Conley plays on Prime Suspects. As a matter of fact, I've uh, got one of their jerseys over here that Jimmy Conley gave me. Prime Suspects. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy Conley is one of them guys. Um, you meet him, you just like him instantly. He's just uh, one of them guys. Prime Suspect is is a very, very tough playing team. Like I say, you got some hard teams going to this tournament, man. This is going to be uh, very yeah. interesting. But Jamie Conley, he's uh, works an awful lot with the youth too. He's uh, he's like Mark Gong and Michael Beard um, for the Hermans. He works really, really hard on bringing younger players into the sport and bringing them into the sport right. So um, my hats are it's always off to Jamie Conley, and the team is good. You're going to like the team, Rico, and you're going to like the people too. They're great. Prime suspects. Yes. And Jamie Connolly is, he's a great guy. He's been uh, in contact with me and he's taking care of everything on this team. 
they're rostered up and they got guys like Raiden uh, Ankoviak, Eric But Butner, uh, Tyler Carter, Carter, uh, then they very, very Jamie Connolly, Matthew Courtney, uh, Callan Ford, Justin Inman, David McClone, uh, Randall Overstreet, and Brian uh, Sweet, and then Evan Shelton Bins and Justin Struggle, uh, Tuggle, I'm sorry, Justin Tuggle. So yeah. looking forward to seeing the prime suspects do work. I think they came to my event last year. Um, I would have to look, but they sound like I think they've been here. And they're, they're out great, of uh, they're a great Chicago, group. right? Yeah, well, they're out of that area up there. Um, yeah, they, they play they in move. Illinois. They play in Missouri. Um, they're up in that area right there. So they skip around. They're pretty darn good. And somebody wrote, don't write prime yeah. suspects off. They're a tough team. Anybody that writes any team off is setting themselves up for a whooping. Because I got to tell you, you don't take anybody lightly. I don't care who they are. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And they're not going to fly from Chicago for, for no reason. That's a long fly. Well, yeah, anyway, absolutely. There they go. There's, we go putting them in the bucket. Down to four teams. Um, the next team is going to be... Uh, Let's see. Far side. We don't know anybody in far side, do you? Who I used to know a bunch of them in far side. Yeah. That's uh that's another team. I Who believe are that's they? uh they're I believe they're out of up in the Illinois area, Chicago area. They're uh, they're a pretty good group. And back in the day they were really, yeah. really good. Um Forrest used to play on that team. As a matter of fact, I think he might even been a captain for a while, but uh you know, I don't know how they are now, but I'm right back to saying you don't take anybody lightly in Team Farside. They've been around for quite a while. Yeah, they got a bunch of old people that go to uh, they go to these um, bingo halls and play and what play bingo. Uh, John Rathburn, you never heard of that guy. <laughs> and then oh they God. have Matt Sossaman and uh, and then. The other John was nuts. A uh, bunch of great guys, solid pro, ex-pro players, half of them. This is a solid squad. I've, I've shot paint against these guys before, and I didn't like what I had coming at me, man. They were just putting out a paint out. This is a, a team well, that's that what is you guys need, do. in my opinion. Yeah, this is definitely a top five, top, top four teams all day. Um this is not a team to take lightly. Yep. These guys are legit, legit, top of the line players. So, who are they? If you don't know, you're gonna find out. Um, the next team is a bunch of guys that I don't know. I skipped uh, one of them here. I have here apparently. Oh yeah, I did. Existential Fury. Did I not mention them already? I think I did, didn't I? Uh, maybe Very possible. No, no, I did yeah, we, not. We've gone through 16 no, I didn't, already. I didn't mention them. Yeah, we've gone through 16. So, yep. Okay. So, shit. Now I got to count these things now. Make sure they're all in here. But, um, so we'll go right into the band. Tell me about the band, Fred. What do you got on the band? Oh, uh, man, you know, I got, I got Tim Schloss, you know, uh, made the tiger stripe back in the day. He's going to be down there. Uh, William Bailey, uh, you know, he jumps on my show with me every week. Uh, he's going to be there along with his buddy, Hell. And we got uh, Paintball Dave. Paintball Dave Ruddick's going to be there. He's on the team. Uh, we got some good guys, um, you know. Basically, our, our whole thing is to go out and have a good time. Obviously, we, all, we always play hard. You know, I don't know anybody that doesn't go someplace that wants to win. But it's it's just not something that I uh, absolutely have to do, you know. And if I go out there and I yeah, have a good yeah. time, it's already the win for me. Yeah, you know what it is? I didn't throw their name in the bucket. That's all I did. But I did raid their roster, you, Dylan Arroyo. I remember Austin Bandari. Uh, maybe right. not. Let me just go over it just in case. Uh, no, I, Bandari, don't think, I, think I don't believe you talked about him. Uh, they're they're a team out of Tampa. No, I did not. Uh, nope. They're a local team. They got Dylan Arroyo. They got Austin Bandari, who's I think in charge of the squad. Lindsey Brown, Neil Harper, Jared Jacobson, Joshua Jacobson, Kyle Klasnick, 
Justin Michael, William Perry, Timmy Phillips, Gio Rodriguez, Clay Sing Swingle, I think is part of the leadership, maybe. Uh, Tiger Wolf. Tiger Wolf. And he doesn't have the picture. Is it the real Tiger Wolf? Or is it <laughs> I don't know. Funny, funny name. Anyway, we'll so we're gonna move on to the final team. Tell me about yeah. The final team spread is Woodlawn. Woodland Warriors, also another team from your from Bill Bailey's neck of the woods, right? It, yeah, you know, I don't I don't know about them, but I think that's Bill Bailey's team. And uh, I know they're it pretty is. excited. Yeah, I know they're pretty excited about going down there. And uh, you know, Bill takes care of them. Uh, Bill works with them out there. Um, so it's gonna be interesting, you know, because Bill plays on the band, so you know, we're probably button heads with his own team. Yeah. I'm going to have to turn my, I don't have my backup battery. I better get this show done before I run out of batteries. Go ahead and shake them and start picking them. Uh, yes, I'm going to do that right now. Uh, I'm going to go over the roster real quick uh, on the Woodland Warriors. We don't want to leave them out. Uh, I'm looking forward to meeting I them. I should be okay. Yes. So I've been in touch with the, uh, with the with bill and chris fetters and uh uh great team uh they have uh chris dini then denny chris fetters christian fetters uh christine a lady great love it oh very cool uh, yep, absolutely. josephine fetters cat uh big fetters family here going on man you love that i love that cassidy yep. green cole uh rhodes Daniel Sadowski, who's a local knight, very good guy. Uh, Richard Sharif, and uh, I know they have Nick, another local guy, solid player, playing with them as well. And I don't have everybody in the roster, but most of them. So we're going to start this raffle. Uh, I took the name. If your sister team gets selected after the fact, as we explained earlier, sister teams go in opposite bracket automatically. So we'll start with the first pick. And I'm just going to grab, reach in there on bracket A. Everybody's running low. Hold on. I'll be damned. I got my laptop. It's sucking the life out of the battery. And it wants to shut down unless I plug it in. Sorry there. If you can hear me. Of course it is can. what it is. You know, I'm, I'm I did a, a show. I, I went back to uh, St. Louis for a tournament. Uh, geez, I don't know, just a couple months ago. And so then I went up and I see my brother up in Wisconsin. So I went and I did my show from his house and everything was great. And I go live and I'm sitting there talking away, but I forgot to plug my computer in. So I was very lucky just to get that thing at the, the very end, man. So Chris Cole saying, let's go. No, Chris, go to bed. <laughs> You're past your bedtime. <laughs> right on, Chris. I'm with you, Chris. Old man. <laughs> All right, now you now you got on. power. I'm having fun. Now you got power. Shake it up, baby. Let's go. First team, first bracket. Bracket A. Bracket A. All right, first team. Right there. Can you read it, Fred? Master Blasters. Wow, Master Blasters. So, Master Blasters. And so, automatically, Master on bracket B, Master Blasters. What is the name of the second Master Blasters? Is it Black? Black, I thought. I'm, I'm, yeah, I think it is. I'm not really sure. I can't remember now. I'm, I'm looking at it right now. Um, I think so. Master Blasters Black. Okay. Next team. And if it isn't, I'll, I'll find it. I'll fix it. Uh, bracket A. Uh, would it be bracket A? Yes. Well, bracket B. Bracket B. Bracket, one and one. No, we're going to go straight down the line, bracket A. We're going to do it that way. Straight down Correct. the line, bracket A. There you go. And All everybody right. else will be in bracket B. That will be faster. Real simple. All right. Existential Fury. You're on bracket A as well with Master Blasters. With the Blasters. They get the Blasters. All right. Yep. Let me type the name first. Existential 
Fury. Okay. That's in the oh shit. Wrong place. Wrong slide. All right. Next one. I love Chris. Next one is going to be Annihilators. Ten man Ooh, on Lord. bracket A as well. That's going to be a smoking division. Man. Wow. If you cannot spell Annihilators, it's okay. I can't either. And I played on their team. So my jersey has the name. I don't know what the hell. Also on bracket A, next team is going to be all Americans, I think. Yep, all Americans. Wow. Now there's a bracket. Ooh, baby. That's a bracket. That's a bracket. Now he's talking. All these teams are going to get eight games automatically, right? So... They get a chance to do it. I mean, how many are we taking out of the bracket? Top four of each bracket are moving on, okay? Very good. Next team, Woodland Warriors on bracket A as well. And that's Billy's team, huh? Yep. Tough bracket. Sure tough is. Tough bracket. We keep adding tough, tough teams in it. We're putting tough teams in it. They could, this could very well be the the next team on the bracket A, Destiny Wrecking Crew. All right. Okay. That bracket's not getting any easier, that's for sure. Nope. Okay. Next one. It is. So this. We know automatically that this team is on the other bracket, all Americans too, right? We know that. Yeah, there you go. So this is going to be irrelevant. So they're going to bracket B automatically, all Americans too. Okay. Next bracket, next team. Lockout, going into bracket A as well. Wow. Lockout, bracket A. That is going to be a bracket. I love Ooh, it. Baby. Damn. Yep. Next one on bracket A. Ground zero gold. Ooh. This could be the bracket of death. Wow. Ground zero gold. I mean, that bracket's a show by itself. Ground zero. Yeah. Let me put here some numbers real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine teams. Okay. So there's one more team left for this bracket. Who's going to be in this team, in this bracket? Prime suspect, suspect. on bracket wow. A. Jamie, you got your work cut out for you, my yep. friend. Ooh, baby. That is a bracket. And obviously, and obviously, the rest of the teams go in the second bracket. Go in the bracket B, which is <clears throat> now. I have a problem. I didn't get the sister team, so we have to take uh, the last team out because we have annihilators, all Americans. Oh no, we got them all three. Yeah, oh, they're they're good. Automa automatically annihilators. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So extreme rage on bracket B. Annihilators regular team, it's on bracket B. We also have on bracket B, it's going to be PPS SFO Dirty. SFO Dirty. It's automatic. This bracket is automatically figured out. I just got to write the names. Far side. Hmm. Yeah, tough team though. Annihilators, that team is already uh, in this bracket. I already wrote them in. And then we have Master Blasters Black, which I already counted in. 12 Angry Men, 12 
angry. Okay. And I guess there's two more names in here somewhere. They're just stuck in here. There they are. MVPS Dark Ops. That's a tough team. I think all 18 teams are pretty game. tough. Top four team as well, they, all day long. And then the, the toughest team of all, the band. <laughs> I love it. Well, you know all what? Right, you, boys and yeah, girls, you, there's your brackets. You got some pretty good teams coming down there, though, Rico. I got to tell you. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to post it right now on Facebook as, as, as of right now. Two brackets. It's going right now into Facebook. Right now. Copy. And you'll be able to see the brackets. Schedules are going to post this week. I like to get that out of the way. Um, so let's go into here and put it into Facebook. Uh, Florida 10-Man Classic. I um, mean, not the Florida, but WCPL. I got people texting me while I'm doing this show. They don't realize it's not. Oh, come on, you're ambidextrous. You can, you can so do two, three things. At guys, one I'll get back to you as soon as I wrap up. I am. I am. Yeah. There it is. It's so, posted. Going in right now. The brackets have been decided. So one more thing I want to mention real quick, Rico, is uh, I want to mention everybody, uh, go ahead and uh, get online, get your waivers filled out get your rosters in by the 27th, like Rico was saying earlier, because um, he's already yelled at me. So, you know, uh, you're going to want to get your, your roster in so you don't get yelled at either. So, does it hurt? No. That's right. <laughs> That's it. That's it, baby. All right. It was well. emotional. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to, we're going to take four teams, four teams out of the, Hey, we're going to take four teams out of the uh, prelims, top four in each bracket, move it on. Then um, we'll tell you more how we're going to do the next two rounds. But that will so be eight teams moving out of the uh, uh, prelims. So everybody has a shot at this. This event is really going to start in the second part of it. Uh, Saturday morning is going to be Woods. Uh, let me tell you guys, in the Woods Ball, I expect – and I demand that you are wearing a mask and you don't shortcut and get in the back of the fields and the sides of the fields. I need, I don't need distractions from teams that are playing the field in the woods. So you stage where the staging area is and you stay in that area. And we are making it clear where it is. We're not going to have with zero tolerance for those that are out there uh, trying to circumvent and shortcut through the back of the house and all that stuff. It's not going to happen this year. I need you guys to stay where you need to be because we don't need distractions and we're not going to make you walk all the way to the two cast two story fort that we did last year, but we're going to bring you closer to the field from back in, but you got to respect the field. I have, I have a sick full day of rec ball that day and all of the fields are going to be playing and I cannot have uh, you guys out there without mask in my property. It's not going to happen. So keep that in mind, please. I'm not going to tolerate it. We will have issues. So I'm just putting that out there. I'm going to tell you it's not zero tolerance. And I have people that that's their job to catch you doing that. We will have a problem. All right. Thank you. And everybody, I hope to see you guys soon. Please, uh, if you uh, if you got any anyone that is bringing their own paint, remember, you have to bring me $250 cash. I'll have a lady collecting the money first thing in the morning. Do not make her chase you down. Just give her the money as soon as she's pulled up. If you owe me money, pay up. <laughs> that. Sounds good, Rico. Well, hey, right on. I, I I know I'm looking forward to coming down there. I know everybody's looking forward to doing this. So you did a good job, buddy. Now, now you can go to bed. Thank you. You I, too. I know, I know you old guys, you guys need uh, your sleep, man. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, Rico, you take it easy. Good night, everybody. All right, everybody, I, I appreciate so much you uh, chiming in tonight and checking it out. Uh, now you know who you're going to play. I mean, both the brackets are tough. I got to tell you, uh, I'm looking forward to going down there and, and having a great, great time. I really, really am. And all of you that I have never met before, I am looking so much forward to meeting you guys also. So 
I cannot wait to see you guys at Gator Paintball. Jeez, a week and a half away, two weeks away. I, oh, man, I'm just all amped up already. And remember, Tuesday night, uh, please watch uh, on Facebook, Flagpole Productions. I'm going to have Mr. John Tank Tankersley on. We're going to be talking jelly ball on Tuesday evening. Uh, jelly ball is a really, really good thing, and it's a step up for the kids to get into paintball. So until then. Thank you again, everybody, for watching us tonight. I always say at the end of my broadcast, please play hard, play safe, play fair, but get out there and play some paintball. All right? Good evening, everybody.